Good morning, my friends. Today is Sunday, April 25th, and uh, welcome back to Thorndale Zion United Church Sunday School. That is a mouthful. I have my favorite mug with me today, and uh, today we're going to talk about a story called The Road to Emmaus. Now, we, a few weeks ago, talked about Easter, and I told you all about Easter, and how the most important part of that was that Jesus defeated death, and he he, yes, he died on the cross, but when they put him in the tomb three days later, he rose. And if you remember, there was two women who um, found out first that he was no longer in the tomb. And they went to tell other people, and other people didn't believe them. And next up, you're going to see a video of two of the people who, who didn't believe the women and two people who were just so saddened and, and really down in the dumps at the thought that their beloved Jesus was gone. Now, on that same day, two of them were going to a village named Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem, and talking with each other about all these things that had happened. While they were talking and discussing, Jesus himself came near and went with them, but their eyes were kept from recognizing him. And he said to them, What are you talking about? They stood still, looking sad. Then one of them, whose name was Cleopas, answered him, Are you the only one who hasn't heard what's happened? Um, I don't know what happened. And they replied, The things about Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet, mighty in deed and word before God and all the people and how our chief priests and leaders handed him over to be condemned to death and crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one to redeem Israel. Then Jesus said to them, How foolish you are! You gotta believe! Then beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them the things about himself in all the scriptures. As they came near the village to which they were going, he walked ahead as if he were going on. But they urged him strongly, saying, Stay with us, it's almost night time! So he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, and he vanished from their sight. They said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us while he was talking to us on the road, while he was opening the scriptures to us? That same hour they got up and returned to Jerusalem, and they found the eleven and their companions gathered around. They were saying, The Lord has risen, and he has appeared to Simon. Then they told what had happened on the road, and how he had been made known to them in the breaking of the bread. So we may think it's really unusual that these People who spent time with Jesus, that followed Jesus, that should have known Jesus, didn't recognize him on the on the road. And the closest ex example I can give you to a 2021 type of example would be, imagine that there's a kid who comes to your school and the, the kid is um, picked on and bullied and, and people don't really know them. And you take the time, you and some friends, to get to, to know them just a little bit. But after a short while, they end up leaving your school again to go somewhere else. And you had learned about this person that they were smart and they were funny and uh, they were a really awesome person. It was too bad you didn't get to spend more time with them. So fast forward, now you're an adult and maybe you're riding a city bus on the way to work and you happen to sit beside somebody and you pick up a conversation and uh, you you really connect with this person. You have some some laughs and you maybe open up a, a, a chocolate bar and you go, here, would you like some? And you share 
with this person and they say thank you and they get off the bus and that's when you remember hey i think i know him i've met him before we went to school together when we were kids but at that point they've already left and you don't you've missed that opportunity to call them back but you can keep looking for them i guess on the bus each day on your way to work eating chocolate bars but that's the the best example i can give you for a 2021 example Next up, I want to uh, give you some questions, the five I wonder questions about this story. Listen to, to the questions and there'll be a pause after each one to just think about what you, what you hear, um, what you feel about in the story. The five wonders. I wonder how the stranger felt not being recognized. I wonder how the disciples felt about a stranger joining their journey. I wonder how you would feel if you were traveling a long way and a stranger asked to walk with you. I wonder what you would take with you on a very long journey. I wonder how the disciples felt after they realized the stranger was Jesus, and then he was gone. Did you think about those? Did you wonder what was going on? I, I'd be curious about some of your, your answers. You don't have to share them with anybody, but uh, um, it's just something to reflect on with this story. All right, next up, I don't have a craft this week. We're going to play a game instead, and it's a true or false game, and you're going to Stand if it's true and sit if it's false. Here we go. The tallest man to ever live was eight foot eleven. Stand if it's true, sit if it's false. It's true. His name was Robert Wadlow. Four babies are born every second. Stand if it's true, sit if it's false. Are you standing? It's true. Cold water turns to ice faster than hot water. Stand if it's true, sit if it's false. Take a seat, it's false. The bottom water gets colder first and since cold water is heavier than hot water, all those little molecules don't move around and freeze quicker. There was once a cow that grazed on the front lawn of the White House. Stand if it's true, sit if it's false. Also true in 1909 and her name was Paulina Wayne. And our last one, a blue whale's tongue weighs about the same amount as a horse. Stand if it's true, sit if it's false. Take a seat, it's false. A blue whale's tongue weighs about the same as an average elephant. How'd you do in that game? Were you surprised by some of those interesting facts? Did you get uh, most of them right? Most of them wrong? Uh, I had a lot of fun looking those, those up for you. Today's lesson is really focusing about the idea of doubt and doubt is a human trait we we tend not to believe things unless we can see them unless we have concrete evidence for them and um and jesus understands that and he understood that when he was walking with those people down the down the road because he presented all the facts from the old testament and then he revealed himself when you doubt I would really like to encourage you to search out facts and to uh, talk to people who you respect and people who you know only have the best interest in heart for you and uh, look to um, adults and friends. And when we speak about uh, God and Jesus, you can talk to family, but you can also look at passages in your Bible. There is, uh, again, it's human nature to doubt and uh, God knows that we are curious beings. We always want to know. So I encourage you to feed that curiosity. And when you have a question, you look it up. And if you need help with any of that, please reach out to me at any time. Your, your parents know how to get a hold of me. And uh, I had a lot of fun this week with this game. I hope you did too. Next week, we're going to move on to a new topic with some new activities. And at the end of May, we're going to have a Zoom call together. I hope that you can plug in then and then we can interact together and we'll try to do uh, some fun stuff. I'm, I'm learning about Kahoot. 
I might need some help with that. So you guys have a wonderful week. I hope that your first week of online learning has gone well for you. And I wish you all the best for next week. We'll finish off with our Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Subscribe to our channel so that we can make more fun dance videos. Bye!